G'day Rockhound here! So we've had the announcement for the cross-platform open beta for the finals and with that came this game trailer from Embark Studios which is a little under two minutes long. There's loads packed into it including what appears to be an easter egg that shows us an upcoming map. So let's dive into the trailer and show you all the details that you might have missed. I've linked the full trailer in the video description below so you can watch that if you haven't already. For the sake of brevity I'm mostly going to focus on things that we haven't seen previously. So let's go! Firstly the game has been given a teen rating for violence. We get our first look at a new character cosmetic with this player showing off a skeleton outfit with glowing pink eyes who uses a baseball bat to coin their opponent. The baseball bat also has a baseball sticker on it which may be an individual cosmetic. We then see an explosion of coins with a character in the thick of it that looks very much like Embark Studios co-founder, chief content officer and executive producer for the finals Rob Brunison aka Robbie Thunderstorm. So perhaps a cheeky cameo there from him. Our character here appears appears to be armed with an M1 in what looks like a Lego style skin, which is seen again later in the trailer. Here we have what might be our first example of a non-sniper weapon with an optical sight on it. It looks like an MP5 with an aim point microsight. We'll get a more detailed look at it again shortly. Our first team is then presented with characters all adorned by animal masks, a rabbit, panda and fox, lit by a new neon green paw icon. This whole look might be a bit of an art upgrade to the team introductions that occur prior to each round starting, or it may simply be done for the trailer. This red team is showing off pretty sinister looking skeleton wear with pink glowing eyes that even blink. Then we have this weird looking single frame which is actually the first part of an easter egg image. When all the frames like this in the trailer are colour inverted and stitched together they give us what looks like part of a game map set in a western style saloon or similar building maybe built around the late 1800s. The ornate sawed off shotgun also suggests that a western themed map is on the cards. This image was compiled within a couple of hours of the trailer release by members of the finals discord community who have been working on the easter egg puzzles that Embark Studios have presented to us leading up to the game's release, so GG to them. Then we have the familiar hallway that players run down at the start of a match. By the way, this art style is probably heavily influenced by the opening credits for Formula One Racing. A great close up here of the skull faced character with the pink LED eyes. This looks really awesome. Then there are even more sinister teammates. The carbon fibre skull looks great. These are definitely going to be a player favourite. You can see another fragment of that western map easter egg image shown here. And then as the players enter the arena I think we start to get our first full look at the new map that is being introduced for the open beta, Skyway Stadium, which appears to be a mix of buildings from the existing Monaco and Seoul maps along with what looks like some new buildings from those locations as well. You get a pretty good view of the Soul map style buildings on the left and the Monaco style buildings on the right here. We also get a different angle of the entire map later in the trailer as well including this night shot. Note the Skyway Stadium logo here. I quite like the idea of having blends of maps like this as long as there are plenty of single location maps at release as well and that these blends also provide us with really interesting arenas and aren't just a way for Embark to reuse assets to build maps quickly and cheaply. No doubt they probably probably do provide those advantages for the studio as well, but the gameplay obviously has to come first. Now the map is clearly divided into segments. At the front here we have what looks like a Monaco style mansion with surrounding gardens. To the right is a Monaco residential area and in the centre what looks like a hotel area of Monaco, the hotel sign seen here. These three Monaco areas are connected via fixed zip lines, jump pads and one or two ramps to the sole section of the map which comprises the construction zone with two cranes, a hospital building and an office or data building here. These tall buildings in the back don't appear to be playable. The press release for the open beta describes the map as ever changing and you can see that the areas are quite separated especially the soul sections from the Monaco sections. So it might be that we see some elevation changes for the entire individual segments during the game which could be really fun. This isn't just a fanciful idea of mine though. Now I think this might have actually been accidental 
simply revealed by the Embark team because it's not mentioned in the press release for the game, but in the open beta FAQ on the finals discord is a link to the finals help centre. Within the help centre is a section named arena variants and that page mentions a variant called high rise which is described as the center area of the arena has been elevated to new heights. So we could see this middle zone of the map with the hotel in it becoming elevated relative to the remainder of the arena which would be a really great way to mix things up and give us a lot of verticality in the map. Additionally the help center section under game show events reveals a new event named Molten Madness where lava appears on the arena floor. Essentially it's the floor as lava mode. Now the Embark team might have let those two variants become public early by the looks of it but needless to say I can't wait to see them both in the game and we're going to see them very soon anyway. Moving on here we get a better look at the MP5 with the Aimpoint microsite on it. This team dressed in all black kit are attacking that Monaco mansion like area of the Skyway Stadium map with their opponents using the protective dome shield. Here we see down the Aimpoint microsite which is a non magnifying optic. It does look a bit far from the player's eye in this but maybe this is something that we can wait for player feedback on. Switching teams we see a player using a Lewis gun with a slick black and white skin from inside the dome shield. Here's a view of the area that clearly lies between map segments with its smooth concrete surface. This circle with a cross in it is curious, I wonder what purpose it serves if any. This looks like the Fakar rifle as it's known in the game with an EOTech holographic reticle. The players then use this fixed jump pad which seems to provide more propulsion than the usual player placed pads. As the player jumps part of the crane appears to break away and then it gets smashed in half so we can finally start to bring those cranes down which will potentially end the meta of leading teams taking cash boxes up a crane and just defending them until the round ends so I'm pleased to see this change. The player skillfully uses the grappling hook even while the crane is starting to fall over to make their way into the construction zone. This player takes a cash box to the face for an insta kill also I'm curious as to what this box is here. In the close beaters the Embark team hid very few easter eggs in the game because not everyone had access to find them but Rob Runison has said in the easter egg channel of the finals discord by the way remember that we will run an open beta tomorrow that means it is allowed to hide real important things in there since everyone can join. Good luck have fun. So we should all try and keep an eye out for some pretty elaborate easter eggs some of which might be interactable with switches and the like. If you spot anything unusual please drop a screenshot into the easter egg channel of the discord if you can for the easter egg crew to start scoping it out. Here we see a pretty good view from behind the hospital with what looks like the suspended structures mode of the game in action. See here's the original view of the hospital area with nothing above the buildings and now we have the suspended partial buildings located there. We move to one of the players using the zip lines in the same area and see this casino chip charm and alien sticker on the side of the Fakar rifle. The black and blue weapon skin also looks really cool. Now if you haven't played the finals before, this shot gives you a pretty good idea of the scale of destruction that can occur in the game. Spot the little panda sticker on this handle here too and there's a weapon charm that matches it as well. The weapon appears to be a bamboo stick appropriately wielded by a panda mask wearing heavy build. It's clear that fire animation in the game has received some excellent polish since the last closed beta while this flamethrower has a really colourful skin and in front of it drops a nasty little present, an explosive drum with a C4 charge attached to it. Then we see the beloved Namatama with the image of Embark's favourite pug dog Frank superimposed over him. We've seen Frank in all of the other trailers. Nama then uses the remote trigger to set the C4 off. I love how Nama's cap starts to fly off when the explosion hits. And then we might get our first look at the new game mode, Bank It. Firstly, notice that the cash out station has been modified with a coin slot added to it. Bankit has players collecting coins during a combat focused round and here it looks like we see a couple of the special coins which almost have a Sonic the Hedgehog rings look to them. Here you can see that coining a player produces the special coins as well. Here's a good look at the coins just sitting on the ground waiting to be collected. The finals help center that we looked at before also reveals that the mode includes four teams of three in a single round match competing for coins to deposit. There are faster respawn times and unlimited respawns. Also teams will not be penalised i.e. lose cash on team wipes. The rules for Bankit are also given. Eliminated players drop coins. 
collect and deposit coins to earn cash, the first team to reach 40,000 cash wins, and the weapon and gadget reserve is accessible while you're waiting to respawn. I think Bank It sounds like an excellent addition to the game, in fact it might become a favourite mode for a lot of players. Ok, back to the last few shots in the game trailer. Another great shot of the skull with pink LED eyes player here. This yellow Ospu's hoodie is cool too, with the date shown as 25 October 2023 on it, marking the day the open beta was announced, rather than the start of the actual playtest itself. We need a real life version of this for sale in Bark, just saying. And the trailer wraps up with a group image of many of the characters that appeared in it. So that's my deep dive into the finals open beta trailer. Let me know your thoughts about the trailer below. I think that Embark have really mastered the art of a great trailer, showing just that perfect blend of gameplay and set pieces to make for great viewing, along with a lot of little details hidden amongst the action. I'll be providing you with ongoing updates and opinion videos about the finals throughout the playtest, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to join the playtest or the finals discord community there are links in the video description below thanks for watching this video to the end subscribe if you'd like to see more content from my channel give a like or comment as you see fit and enjoy the rest of your day kia kaha stay strong everybody knows the world ain't right down on your knees get up and fight